Welcome to our webinar. We are the physicians of Carnegie Women's Health. Carnegie Women's Health started in 2019 as a women's health branch of Maternal Fetal Medicine Associates. It's staffed by doctors Aaron Gottlieb, Stephanie Lamb, and myself. We practice care for women of all ages. In addition to gynecologic care, we perform cancer genetic screening, bioidentical hormone therapy, and as two aesthetic uh, procedures. And uh, the purpose of today's webinar uh, is to discuss our aesthetics program. We're going to begin uh, with Dr. Aaron Gottlieb, who is going to describe the first of these, which is called TrueSculpt ID. Hello. I'm so excited to be able to have the opportunity to talk to you about TrueSculpt ID and body contouring. So over the last number of years, the BMI in this country has been increasing steadily. And we often feel, or at least, you know, it's portrayed as a negative thing. And I think what we need to do is be healthy, be aware of our bodies and feel really good about ourselves. Um, and so one of the things that body sculpting and contouring can do is really make you feel a little bit better about you if you are feeling that there's an area of concern. Um, and so that's why it's been becoming more popular. And what we can do is personalize um, some non-invasive procedures to assist in anything that's bothering you. Mike, if you could switch the slide, please. So how TrueSculpt ID works is by using a, um, a revolutionary monopolar radio frequency technique that will actually um, penetrate from right under the skin layer, the fat cells all the way down to the muscle. And it has been shown clinically to reduce permanently um, the fat cells up to 24% per treatment. Um, if you can turn the slide. So listen, you're not gonna turn into a size two if you're a size 10. Genetically, you are what you are, but a lot of us have areas that we may feel we wanna improve on. Um, and, and so, to talk about how TrueSculpt ID pre-treatment, and I don't know if you can see this slide. I can't see it on mine. Okay. Um, so what we do is we, you will come in, you will meet with one of us. Um, I think it's really important to kind of go over what your goals are um, in terms of body contouring. And I think by meeting one of our team and our team in terms of offering you the treatment is going to be the physician team. Um, and we will, talk to you and see what areas are, are of your concerns. And then we will mark those areas and talk about the goals of which you'd like to treat. Um, and then we will uh, create the area and then we will use these hand pieces. They look like little squares and we put them on the, on the areas of targeted fat pockets. Um, and we, they're, it's, it's easy to put on. They're very comfortable. We can turn the next slide and we can actually see what they look like, I believe. Um, so you can see these little squares. We put them on. You'll get a sense of this warm feeling. It feels like a hot stone massage. The treatments last for 15 minutes. Um, and then what we do is we see the results over 12 weeks. You'll come into the office. We will take pre and post pictures. Um, and then if there's uh, another area, we can always personalize to another area. Sometimes people will require a second treatment for optimal results. Erin, I just want to just, if you can go back one second, Michael, just to interject for one second. I think when we look at the technology, which we'll talk about, and we use heat specifically, and heat comes through each one of those pads, those pads in size are probably somewhere around four to five centimeters, would you say in size? So you get a lot of area covered within one pad itself. And then the area around that pad, about a centimeter around each side, there's still heat that's distributed to that area. So you're getting a 
just decrease in fat even below and around where that pocket is, that four centimeter pad. And so when you come to the doctor and we see what your problem areas are, we can move each of these little squares in different directions. They don't have to all be in a line. They can go up and down. There's different ways to tailor it, but it even goes a little bit around. So you get a lot of area just from one little square itself. It's pretty incredible. That's a very important part. And another thing to notice is that it will then look smooth. It won't look like you will just have these um, loss of fat just in those squares. You won't be able to tell that you've had right. a treatment done where you'll have some puckering or pocketing, which some other um, body contouring non-invasive techniques, you can actually see those, those results. Mm -hmm. um, one of the beauties of this non-invasive treatment is that there is really no downtime. So people can pop off the table 15 minutes later and go back to work, to the gym, pick up your kids, go on vacation, go out to dinner, whatever you want to do. It's really nothing. The most um, adverse side effect, if you could say that, is really that your skin may be a little bit tender or a little bit uh, red just from having the heat on. Um, so I, I know everybody wants to see these results, and I think you have to remember what you're starting at. So the, this is a baseline of an arm. We can put them under your arm here. Um, and then this is after one procedure, which would be around 12 weeks. You can see the loss of fat cells. The other thing that's important to know with True Sculpt ID is that not only does it permanently destroy those fat cells, but it also creates a tightening of the skin. So that makes it, um, you're not gonna have this flabby skin that's hanging out if you've lost the, those fat cells. So that's very nice. Here we have the ability to do um, underneath the chin and which is a, we have a hand paddle for that. Um, and after one procedure, um, you've gotten definitely a tightening and not and a loss of fat. And here's after the second procedure. And I think that it, this is a great result for this patient. Okay, so we always talk about, you know, the, the post baby belly. Um, and here we have a woman who has a little bit of what we call a panis where the fat hangs over. In the next slide, in next image, you'll be able to see that it's not hanging over and there's a tightening that has occurred as well. Um, and I think that that's a really beautiful result. And again, this also, you can see that not only did it decrease the fat, but it also tightened up the skin. And I think that, you know, this was marketed to our CWH patients as a mommy makeover. And I think this is probably a really good post-pregnancy belly um, and the beautiful effects of using this treatment. And again, here, tightening and get decreasing the fat. And just to interrupt again, Erin, I think, you know, this, this webinar that we're doing and we're, we labeled it as a mommy makeover, um, this is really geared towards any woman um, and even male, the partners, male patients um, who are just interested in doing something to really just improve isolated little things that they can do to their body that maybe going to the gym and, and working out isn't necessarily working for them and their trouble spots. Uh, this is not necessarily like, just like you said, you get on the scale and you're going to notice a 10 pound weight loss. No, you still have to take ownership for eating well, drinking lots of water, exercising. We do have you weigh in beforehand, but whether you just had a baby or whether you're 10 years after your baby, this kind of appeals to everybody. This is just a good way for you to continue to feel good about yourself. And one of the most remarkable results is not, it, it's not necessarily as visual as you'll see, as you'll see by the, um, by the secret RF, but clothes fit dramatically better. The vast majority of patients that undergo this talk about clothes fitting uh, looser, uh, belt loops being a little bit tighter. And so even though it's not as aesthetically gratifying 
uh, it's very measurable from the individual's perspective. So people describe it as wearing a pair of Spanx without having to feel like they're wearing a tight girdle. They just feel a smoothness in their clothing. Um, and I think it's really important to remember that people are doing this for themselves as an individual. The ideal person to do this is someone who is, you know, exercising, eating well, taking care of themselves and has these trouble spots. Um, and you can see in this picture right here with the flanks, it just smooths out the area. And this is after 12 weeks. Um, and, and I think those are the spots that tend to be very difficult to achieve, even with all of the diet and exercise that people do. And we just want people to feel good about themselves and feel healthy. Again, here's another um, arm. And I think this is a great response. Here's a, another view of a neck. Um, so now we're gonna let Stephanie talk about, we're gonna switch positions to body contouring and talk about the secret RF, which is really used for so many wonderful things. So take it away, Steph. <laughs> so I think when we started doing this and looking at um, our patients and what really they were looking for when they came to um, Carnegie Women, besides looking good from a physical perspective, um, when we look at weight and fat distribution, the number one thing that people do when they look in their the mirror is they're looking at their face and they notice um, line changes, photo damage. Uh, they notice uh, if they've had surgery, C-section scars or scars from any type of surgery, uh, dark spots, um, or even creeping of the skin and some stretch marks. Um, and so most, this is really what started happening in the last four or five years. Patients would come in and they'd be like, oh, how do I get rid of this? Well, the technology has evolved um, and there's this product on the market called the Secret RF. Um, and essentially it's innovative. It's an aesthetic procedure uh, that basically has no downtime essentially. And it's offered in the office. Uh, and the procedure itself takes about 15 to 25 minutes to do um, with a little bit of time ahead of time uh, to come on in and meet with us and, and get prepped. Go ahead, Michael. So in general, what is uh, Secret RF? It's a technology that uses microneedling. Um, and essentially what happens is a microneedle or a bunch of little needles. Um, and in this particular product, they come in a cartridge. So there's a handheld device that we use and it has a little cartridge at the tip. Uh, there's about anywhere between 25 to 64 needles, depending upon which one we use for which patient. And we try to um, tailor it to the particular patient's skin type and what we're doing. And that cartridge basically touches the skin and then there's a slow release of these needles. So it penetrates, it makes contact to the skin, it penetrate, penetrates the skin itself. Um, and what's beautiful about the machine is the way that it penetrates and it's nice and slow, you really get way less pain than with previous products that were on the mar market. Uh, it takes advantage of bipolar radio frequency um, and so what it does is it basically denatures the tissue around it um, and therefore it affects the surrounding tissue beautifully. Why do we do microneedling? It's we're trying to rebuild up collagen and elastin and we're going from the base down and we're trying to rebuild and regenerate and basically start fresh. Um, so these needles puncture the skin and then we build from the bottom down. What makes Secret RF unique? Well, any type of microneedling when we puncture it really depends upon how deep we're puncturing the skin to what we're trying to achieve. And you can go from very superficial, um, a half a millimeter, which is almost nothing to a millimeter. Um, and we can go down as deep as three and a half millimeters, depending upon what we're trying to achieve. So for things like the forehead or the hands, we go superficial and things like stretch marks, we're going deeper. Um, and when you look at the picture on the top right, that is how the cartridge looks and how it basically shoots off those little needles. The same cartridge is used for the same time and it's one per person. Once we use it, it's discarded. Uh, the technology enhances the patient comfort because it's slow, it's steady and it's smooth. Um, and the technology itself basically reduces the damage um, that we worry about to the skin and the epidermis itself. Uh, and once again, as somebody who's actually done it to myself and knows plenty of friends who have done it, uh, the technology is amazing and it, it's improved safety. 
why the secret RF? Well, the technology itself, when you look at other machines or competitors, or even the handheld microneedling, they use gold plating. And you say, well, why does gold matter? Uh, it's an antioxidation property that improves the conductivity or the bipolar that goes through. Uh, it protects and um, ensures that you don't get that extra damage to the skin uh, with excessive heat, because obviously we're using heat to come through. Uh, and it doesn't wear down. So no matter how many procedures that we do, it's gonna stay fresh. And no matter how many times that needle is basically released, and you can do up to about 1500 little injections uh, throughout the face, the back, the hip, whatever you're doing, uh, it does not wear down due to that gold technology. Pre-treatment, so essentially, for patients who are interested, uh, we typically try to meet with the patient ahead of time. We could do a consultation. Uh, there are times that we do same procedure and consult on the same day. Uh, we look at the patient on their face or if it's on a scar, we basically remove any visible hair. So we'll remove the hair in that local area. Um, do you have to shave eyebrows? No, we can actually adjust and lift and move eyebrows in that area. And you can actually do treatment to try to maximize uh, this area and this area here. We basically have the patient wash their face with some soap and water. Uh, they come into the office and then we apply a topical anesthetic prior to the treatment. And the reason why this topical anesthetic works, it basically just numbs the treatment area so that way you get less pain. Um, even though the machine itself is so wonderful for decreasing pain, it's little needles, they hurt. It's a little uncomfortable. So that topical anesthetic will do much, much, much better for the patient. And then lastly, uh, after we remove the numbing medication, uh, we clean the area nice and fresh with an alcohol swab, uh, and then we make sure the skin is clean to decrease any risk for any infection. Like I said before, it's one tip per patient and then they're discarded afterwards. The handheld device and everything that we do is completely we clean it down per patient, we let it air dry, and then we use that cartridge per patient and then it's discarded. Uh, this here you can see it's one of our patients. We apply this topical lidocaine or this topical anesthetic to the skin. This is after she's washed her face. We apply the lidocaine and we really encourage the patient, we try to leave it on for at least 20, about 30 minutes in general. We play some music, we have you relax, close the light. Um, and once that medication really is absorbed into the skin, um, the patients will notice that they feel like their skin is a little numb. Uh, then we know that we're ready to go with the procedure. So once we apply it, then afterwards we clean off all of that um, lidocaine uh, or the numbing medication. We will clean them with an alcohol swab afterwards, make sure the skin is perfectly clean of all the lidocaine, and then we're ready to go. We sometimes leave the lidocaine in the neck area, that way they, it doesn't wear off as we're moving towards different parts of the skin. Uh, you can see that's the handheld device and that blue light, the, the clearish area there is where the cartridge is. And then those needles are basically injected into the skin and then we move. And you can see she's really comfortable. Uh, and we try to go over, most of us have a little pattern that we do depending upon where we go. I usually start with the forehead and I work my way down to the crow's feet towards the under eyes, the nose, mouth, uh, and then the neck area. Uh, this video on the right shows someone who's doing uh, their hands. Same thing, we apply lidocaine to their hand area after we've cleaned it first and then lidocaine and then we clean the area with some alcohol. Uh, and because the tissue is thin, we use obviously a thinner area that we put the needle into. That would be a 0.5 or one millimeter depth. Uh, and this is great for sun damage. It's great for fine lines as we start to get older. So what's it? Yeah, I, I just wanted to interrupt. We, we talk about it using it for scarring, but I think it's also really great to remember that acne scars is a Correct. fantastic use of this procedure is for, it really is amazing. And um, we can really tailor with the depth, um, depending on if we're doing fine lines and wrinkles versus the acne scars, we just have the machine next to us and can change it at any point, depending on where we are. Yes. And then in general, we'll come to how often, but in general, the best results come from uh, three treatments, ideally. And those treatments are one month apart. And so when we start out with the first treatment, we will tailor it to what we think you need specifically. And then the next treatment, we may adjust a little bit uh, and then we may be able to go up the third time. So 
Uh, what to expect? This is obviously pre-treatment. This is a beautiful woman. Uh, she came in with some concerns over some spots, some skin damage, uh, some fine lines, although she's beautiful. Um, no one will doubt it. Uh, after what to expect, you will get redness. Uh, we're taking needles, we're injecting into the skin and there's an immediate inflammation or a redness that you will notice. After we're all done with the procedure, we basically in this office, we apply an aloe um, and it really soothes the skin and it really decreases the redness immediately. Uh, depending upon how sensitive you are, darker skin colors or lighter skin color patients, some of the lighter skin color patients will notice more redness and you know your own skin if you tend to get you know, flushed. Uh, it basically goes away within a couple hours. So when you walk out of here, you may be like, oh my goodness, within a couple hours, that redness is gone. Uh, you may feel warm, like a little bit of a warmness to the skin that also subsides within a couple hours. Uh, the next day, by the next day, I, from all the patients that I, I that we've done this on and know, including myself, uh, you don't really notice much redness. Uh, you may notice pinpoint areas where some of the needles have gone in where you can notice a, a little red dot, um, almost like a pinprick. Uh, but in general, no bruising. Um, we're really thoughtful about how deep we go and we avoid certain areas with large vessels, so that shouldn't be an issue at all. Uh, these are some great results. Uh, so also uh, this patient who's uh, beautiful at baseline, uh, she had some concerns about fine lines. Uh, she had some, some concerns about uh, skin coloring um, and she was just looking to over improve overall the brightness of her face and the fine lines. Um, so this is just after one treatment um, and you can really see, especially in the chin area, how there's an improvement in some of those fine lines, corner of the mouth, corner of the eyes and over on the forehead itself. Uh, this is after the second treatment, a significant reduction in obviously those fine lines, overall improvement in the color uh, and brightness. Uh, so she was super happy. And the crow's feet were, were largely um, obscured. I know the big band across eyes makes it hard to see, but in general, uh, we have to you know take care of patient identity. But yeah, there was a big improvement of the crow's feet on the corner of the eyes. And I think she was super happy with that. This you could see in the cheek area, those fine lines and on the corner of the mouth, uh, those little linear lines that you could see. Uh, this is just after one treatment going over them and that's the second treatment, how much of a reduction that patients get with this technology. And this machine is in dermatologist's office, plastic surgeon's office, uh, it's pretty much everywhere. Uh, as far as the neck area, so what do patients worry about? Well, they have that crease, that line here we can really detail and uh, give attention to that fine line or those fine lines for the neck. Uh, same thing, lidocaine going through the area and we work over that area. And you can see after two treatments without lifting too much uh, the neck, there's a almost huge improvement, complete resolution of those lines in general. Uh, this is me, sadly, not the best picture of a before. Uh, but my area obviously is someone who works, uh, not a mommy makeover, but a post mommy mommy makeover. But my big concerns were obviously fine lines in the mouth area, crow's feet, forehead. Uh, this was just after one treatment, huge improvement of the brightness, huge improvement of the lines, uh, crow's feet on the side of the, uh, the, the eyes. And uh, you can see right around the mouth area for me that just after one treatment, what a big improvement it was. I was super happy with those results. Uh, this is the other side of my face, um, the before and afters. Um, somehow the other eye looks a little bit better than this eye, but uh, in general, improvement of the eyes um, and corner of the mouth. Uh, this is also a, a mommy, not immediately mommy makeover, but uh, someone who comes to us. Uh, her areas were under the eyes, also chin area, um, and overall brightening of the skin. This is after just one treatment. Um, and I really do wanna emphasize these are one month apart, ideally, you'd like not to push more than six weeks apart. Um, and trying to increase on the intensity from uh, visit to visit, uh, how deep we go and how many times we can go over problem areas. And this is after just two treatments. You could see forehead, you could see corner of the mouth, um, improvement of just skin lax laxation, laxity of the skin, it tightens the skin, it lifts everything up. Uh, it's a really wonderful product. This is a side angle from that same patient. Uh, the linear lines that you could see that go from the edge of the eye all the way towards the ear itself, those lines are almost eradicated and that's after one treatment itself. Uh, and you could see after two treatments, lifting of the cheeks and the cheekbone underneath the neck, 
corner of the eye, forehead itself, and just overall brightening of the color of the skin. Uh, another non-immediately mommy, but mommy makeover. Uh, this is a patient who also corner of the mouth, deep lines underneath the eye for some puffiness, corner of the eye for some crow's feet, and then overall color and skin pigmentation. Uh, great color change on the forehead, uh, underneath the eye, decrease in the little lines here, improvement in the overall mouth area, and also in the neck, those fine lines in the neck area started to lift. This is just after one treatment. I think the big thing for me when you look at the side of the face is also that little scarring and those little pocketings of the chin here. This is after just one treatment and a very big improvement, both in brightness and color. Hands, uh, this really can be done anywhere. Once again, we talk about women and with just age in general and the laxity and the collagen, you're taking these needles and you're puncturing the skin and you're building up that collagen from the base down. Uh, these are hands that are quite beautiful before. Uh, and then the afterwards, uh, it's pretty incredible. This is after just one treatment, uh, fewer fine lines, fewer improvement in the color. And then obviously this is after two treatments uh, and a really significant improvement, much more youthful hands. Uh, this is Dr. Gottlieb doing it on a scar. Um, and also just, I think this was actually overall just the leg we're looking at creeping of the skin and tightening of the skin. Uh, we put some lidocaine on the skin itself. Uh, these treatments can be really done anywhere. Um, so we look at stretch marks for women after having children or weight loss. Uh, these can be tailored towards stretch marks for women who have lost weight and even men. Uh, these scar that you can see here, uh, this is before and after just one treatment. You can see the depth is uh, much more shallow. The overall color and the pigmentation of the scar is a lot better and those fine lines. And this is just one treatment. Ideally, three treatments is what we're looking for. And sometimes with the scarring, it may take a few uh, yeah. extra treatment or two. Same thing with the acne scars um, to just smooth out the area a little bit more. Routinely, just for the fine lines and wrinkles, we recommend three treatments. So when we look at uh, skin revitalization uh, and the technology and why people do microneedling, uh, there are microneedlings that you could do with handhelds that don't have this bipolar technology. But once again, when you look at the bipolar technology, you could see here in her chin area, how it lifted, you're tightening the skin in the neck, neck area, overall tightening of the neck. Uh, and then in this deep area here, those fine lines in the chin and the, the mouth area, a much more blunting and shallowing out of that deep line area. I think this just speaks for itself. I probably don't have to say very much, but the pictures are remarkable. Uh, this is two, two treatments. Um, the picture on the left, when we look at it, we're looking at what we call creeping of the skin. Either this can happen with age, uh, some weight loss, but we want to tighten that skin and build up the collagen. And what we do is we basically apply a lidocaine ointment uh, to that thigh area above the knee. And then we literally just take our handhelds and we work our way down. Uh, and you can see from one treatment to two treatments. And then that third picture right there is after two, how much of an improvement of the creeping of the skin we could see and tightening of the skin. They look like two different legs. Uh, this is just some testimonials of why patients are happy. Uh, people are skeptical, right? They, they don't know about this cosmetic stuff and they think it may not work. Uh, we know that microneedling works. Uh, this technology is wonderful for many of the reasons that we said. And obviously you can just see from the pictures, they, they speak for themselves. I think just one more thing about the different types, the secret RF versus the true sculpt ID. Sometimes people come in and they think they would like to do the fat reduction with the true sculpt ID. And when we examine them, we, we realize that they don't, they're more complaining of the um, laxity in the skin and they don't have the fat to, that needs to be reduced. And we will kind of, because we are the ones examining you, we will cater to what we think is best. So I think that leg, for example, is a great um, example where the patient I think came in for the true sculpt ID and on exam, it was more the laxity and we switched it over to the secret RF. And we've had that happen a couple of times. Mm -hmm.